being successful means getting the job done. It means doing things better and faster than the other guy. If you want to improve your total cost of ownership by reducing maintenance cost, you have to save time. Now you can with the Dodge Paraflex G-Series couplings. The Dodge Paraflex G-Series couplings reduce the total cost of ownership by offering increased bore capacities and higher torque ratings compared to competitive couplings. These advantages allow the user to downsize to a smaller and less expensive coupling. The Paraflex G-Series couplings are available in taper lock, finished bore, and grip tight style. All Paraflex G-Series couplings use the Paraflex Problem Solver rubber element, which offers industry the greatest combined angular, parallel, and end float misalignment. The Problem Solver rubber element reduces maintenance and operational costs by allowing the Paraflex to be installed quickly on misaligned shafts. In addition, the rubber element protects processes and equipment by dampening shock loads and shaft-to-shaft -shaft vibrations. Paraflex taper lock and grip tight bushing technology prevents shaft set screw damage, fretting corrosion, and reduces installation and removal time. In addition, bushings provide concentric shaft contact in order to prevent vibration from eccentricity. Now let's look at how easy it is to install and remove the Paraflex G series couplings. We'll begin with the finished bore coupling. Prior to installation, the shaft should be inspected to ensure that it is within tolerances and free of burrs and oils. If necessary, the shaft should be wiped with a cloth or emery paper. The coupling should also be inspected to ensure that no damage occurred during shipping. The coupling hub should be installed so that it is near the intended mounting position on the shaft. The spacing should be set to the dimension listed in the instruction manual. The spacing template included with the element can be used to facilitate this measurement. Using a torque wrench, the set screws should then be tightened to the torque recommended in the Paraflex coupling instruction manual. The Paraflex G-Series coupling can accommodate an industry-leading 4-degree angular and 1-8 inch parallel misalignment, in addition to 5 16 inch of end float. However, it is best practice to align the shafts as close as possible. The clamp ring nut should be loosened until the element easily slides between the clamp rings. Then the element should be wrapped around the flanges and seated in between the clamp rings. It should be pulled tight to close the split. The clamp ring nuts should be tightened by hand. A spanner wrench or hammer and drift should not be used during this step. Using a torque wrench, alternately and evenly tighten the clamp ring bolts to the values indicated in the instruction manual. The lock washer should be fully compressed between the head of the bolt and the clamp ring nut. It is important to check each bolt until the proper torque is achieved without additional bolt rotation. If the torque value is reached before the lock washer is fully compressed, loosen the bolts and turn the clamp ring nut one eighth of a turn counterclockwise. Then retorque the bolts using the torque wrench. Now, let's review the steps to remove a Paraflex G-Series finished bore coupling. A hammer and drift may be necessary for this process. To remove the element, loosen the clamp ring bolts until none of them come in contact with the clamp ring. Then loosen the clamp ring nut until the element can be removed. A spanner wrench or hammer and drift may be necessary to initially release the clamp ring nut. The remainder of the rotations may be achieved by hand. Remove the element from the clamp rings by peeling it apart at the split. If the element is being replaced, it is good practice to clean the clamp rings with a solvent and dry them prior to installing a new element. If you wanted to completely remove the finished bore coupling, at this point you would loosen both set screws on the flange, one over the key and the other at 65 degrees on the shaft, and slide the flange off of the shaft. For element replacement, you do not need to loosen the set screws. Simply wrap the new element around the flanges and seat it in between the clamp rings and complete installation as previously instructed.
Now let's review the installation process for the Paraflex G-Series Taper Lock Coupling. The first step in the Taper Lock flange installation is to insert the Dodge Taper Lock bushing into the flange side of the hub. Make sure that the bushing and hub holes line up. Each hole should only be threaded on either the hub half or the bushing half. The holes threaded on the bushing half are used for removal, while the holes threaded on the hub are used for installation. Place the assembly onto the shaft. Allow for a small amount of axial movement of the hub during installation. Using a torque wrench, apply torque to the set screws alternately to tighten the bushing onto the shaft and into the hub. Ensure that the hex key used to tighten the set screws is not worn, as this can result in a loose assembly or damaged set screws. From this point on, you can proceed with installation of the element as previously shown. Let's take a look at how to remove the taper lock flange. To dismount the taper lock style hub, begin by removing all of the set screws from the bushing and flange. Place one of the set screws into the dismounting hole, which is the hole threaded on the bushing side. Tighten that set screw until the assembly comes loose from the shaft. Remove the flange from the shaft. Now we're going to take a look at how to install a Paraflex G-Series grip tight coupling. First let's take a look at the parts we'll need for this installation. Here you see the grip tight flange and clamp ring, the grip tight adapter, the grip tight nut, and the micro mount nut and bolts. The first step is to place the grip tight lock nut onto the groove cut into the flange. While keeping the lock nut in the groove, slide the grip tight adapter into the bore of the flange and rotate to engage the threads between the adapter and the lock nut. Then slide the flange onto the shaft so that it is near the intended mounting position. Do not use any oils or lubricants on the shaft as this will reduce the ability of the bushing to carry torque. It may be necessary to remove the micro mount nut to access the grip tight nut. If the bushing will not fit over the shaft, Rotate the bushing lock nut counterclockwise to expand the adapter. Once the flange is in place, rotate the grip tight lock nut clockwise by hand until it is hand tight. Tap on the OD of the nut while turning to assist with this procedure. At this point, the bushing should not be able to be moved axially or rotated by hand. Scribe a line on the lock nut above the slot in the adapter. Rotate the nut according to the procedure described in the instruction manual using a spanner wrench or brass drift and hammer. Use the line position relative to the adapter slot to determine how far the nut has been rotated. Finally, tighten the set screw in the lock nut until the Allen wrench bends. Now you're ready to continue with installing the element as previously shown. Now let's take a quick look at how to remove the grip tight flange. To remove the grip tight flange, start by completely removing the set screw from the adapter lock nut. Rotate the lock nut counterclockwise until it becomes snug. Once this occurs, strike the back side of the flange with a soft mallet or dead blow hammer around the entire face. The thread should alternate between coming loose and tight as the lock nut is turned. Do not drive the lock nut when the threads become tight. Strike the back face of the flange until the threads come loose before continuing to turn the lock nut. Repeat this until the flange assembly comes loose from the shaft. No other couplings can offer you the same outstanding misalignment and vibration handling capabilities as well as fast, easy element installation as the Dodge Paraflex G series couplings. These value-add products provide the opportunity for higher torque ratings and larger bores compared to dimensionally equivalent competitive couplings. With their problem-solver element, they are not only the industry's leading combined angular, parallel, and axial misalignment coupling, but they are the only coupling in the industry with a five-year element warranty.